This is video series. Some things may seem out of context. Please watch the other videos as well. In this video, I'm going to show you some details about user interface of NGPD Layers Manager Pro Revit add-in. So when I start the add-in, you will notice this main tree structure here, which has distribution per families, and it says how many types and instances it has. So you can turn on here to show items with zero instances. These are grayed out because they have zero instances and usually are not interested, interesting to us. So I will switch them off. I will expand the whole tree and then you will notice some color coding. Color coding is explained here in this legend where whenever something is red, it means that it lacks material. If it has underline, it means that it's in the middle of a core or between the core, core, core layers. And uh, if it has not updating suffix uh, next to the, the type name, it means that this type will not be updated by the tool even if you change some of its properties. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you is the settings part over here. So most of it is in these ignore checkboxes, which you can ignore because these are just used when you're creating string for comparison if you want to check your model for duplicated types. Next thing is units. So you can switch the units here to one of these types. You can also customize the rounding. So if it has these zeros, it means that it will always display a zero regardless if it's rounded or not. And the hashtag means that it will not display decimal places if there are none. Uh, list with zero is used when you have membrane layer and you don't want to have width next to the membrane layer displayed as zero millimeters, for example. Suppress zero feet is only available, of course, if you have feet and fractional inches, for example, then you can turn it on and off. It's important to know whenever you are changing something here, you need to press apply, otherwise it will not be applied. What you see here as these decimal places, it seems like an error while it's not. I'm going to explain this in one of the later videos. Couple of final things is you have additional settings here where you can customize the syntax. You can also reach the share parameters file location by clicking here. It will open a browser. and you can export layer schedule using this button. So here you can customize the things that will be exported to Excel and the way of how they are going to be exported. Finally, notice the buttons at the top right corner. If you hover over them, it will display what it is about. For example, if you click on check for updates, you will get information if you have the latest version installed. 